three simple words. Alabaster, silver, metallic. Oh yeah. Booyah! Everyman Driver Nation just arrived here at the headquarters, a 2016 Honda Fit. You might remember that mystic yellow 2015 we had uh, last year. Well, a little easier on the eyes. We have here a 1.5 liter four cylinder, either made it to a CVT or a six speed manual transmission. We have the CVT. This kicks out 130 horses, 114 pound feet of torque. And this week we are rolling on 16 inch alloy wheels. This vehicle comes in four trim levels, and as always, we have a key fob to open it up. So how do we do that? Well, let's, let's put the key fob in our pocket because all we have to do is do this. Watch. Booyah. Are you getting sick of that yet? All right, let's take a look inside here. A couple of cool things to show you, but first, let's start her up. It is a hot one today. All right, push button start, press once. There we go. We have here, my friends, a seven inch touch screen. Down below, I love this, because you have to have this nowadays, a USB port to charge your smart devices, an HDMI, and also a power outlet. So those are all down below here. Instrument cluster, we've got a nice blue dial over here. This shows 390 miles. We are the first journalist to receive this vehicle here in Eastern Washington. Uh, something cool here about the center dial, See the blue on the outside of the ring? Those go green when you're driving the most economical. There we have the econ button on. That's why you see the green right there. And that's the goal this week is to drive all in econ to see how the fuel economy is. More on the fuel economy numbers in just a moment. Another thing I like about this, and so does Melissa, this cup holder up front. So that's where we can have an extra spot for cup holders because honestly, these cup holders seem a little too far away. So if I'm sitting here, I gotta reach, I can't quite reach it with one hand. I like that over here for the driver. Also, lane watch, you press this button right here, I'll do it right now, press this button here, and look at this. You can see uh, what's the right of you, and that's based on a camera just below the side mirror. They call it Honda's lane watch. So right there, you can do it um, manually by pushing that button, or when you turn the signal, it goes on automatically as well. Hey, we have paddle shifters on our tester here. Uh, so a CVT with a sport mode, kind of cool. There's your S right there. This does come in a six speed manual transmission in the uh, lower two trim levels. Usual suspects on the steering wheel, uh, Bluetooth technology down here, cruise control up there. That's good, right? Air conditioning, which is very popular and needed on a day like this. What do we got? I'm not kidding, 95 freaking degrees and it's five o'clock in the afternoon. Luckily, we do have a sliding sunroof right here, which is good. You kind of need that sometimes to let more air in, uh, but also brings in more sun, and I don't need more sun on a hot day like this. Uh, Spacious-wise, pretty big on the inside, and they call it a fit because you're able to fit things in certain ways. I'll show you that with the back seat. They call them uh, magic seats. I forgot exactly. Hey, this is the first look just arrived video. I can't know it all. Also, you have heated seats for both the driver and passenger. Okay, here's a look at your real world back seat, leg room and headroom. And as far as that magic seat that I was telling you about, that's what this is here. So you can lift these seats up, both of them, just by pulling this lever here. I'll pull it down and now it'll drop. Same thing if you wanna lift it up and fold that down, it locks into place. And you can do that with both these seats, which creates a whole bunch of more space. And that's what I mean by things that can fit back here. All right, here's my leg room. Looking good, right? That's my position as a driver up front. That's tons of room. This is a subcompact car. That's great. Headroom is pretty good as well. You can kind of tell there's an indent here in the ceiling. I'm 5'11". My head is not gonna hit the roof line. Surprisingly, there is no button here in the key fob to open the lift gate or the trunk. So let's go ahead and put our fingers down below the Honda icon. There you go. There is your Backup camera right there, a little dirty. Ah, here's your spaciousness back here. This is a, looks like a 60-40 fold down split, so if I fold this, I can press that down. 
I'm not sure if I can do the same thing. Oh, there you go. Well, that one seat has been lifted up. So there you go. Uh, floorboard. They've got some storage below here, which might be where your, yep, that's where your spare tire is. But a, quite a good amount of space, don't you think? I like it. I did a little uh, cargo test in the 2015 version. You should check a look, check that out and see how much stuff I got in the back. Fuel economy numbers here are 32 city, 38 highway. When we tested the 2015 version, we were averaging in the low 30s in mixed driving. I suspect it'll be about the same, although we will be driving in e-com mode. So hopefully we'll get some new numbers for you this time around. Uh, price point, a little bit different this year, only a, a small increase, about $140 over last year's. And this is basically the same vehicle. A couple of design issues that are, might be a little bit different that you might notice in the front. Otherwise, about the same price, starts around 16.6. We will have a special team driving review with both Melissa and I on this vehicle this week. A little something different since there's not much new about this. So let's get a woman's point of view on this 2016 Honda Fit. That's coming up later right here on the Everyman Driver YouTube channel. I'm Dave Erickson. Thanks for watching.